You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here with some spoilers for next week. And this juicy stuff is all about Ashley Abbott, Audra Charles, Kyle Abbott, and others that are in scenes with them. This stuff all happens next week, June 3rd through 7th on the CBS Soap. Let's dig into the good stuff, but first, please subscribe if you've not already. All right, so this week, YNR is back with the promo videos doing their usual three to four vignettes, unlike just the limited two we got last week. So we've got Mariah and Kyle. We've got Ashley Allen and Tracy, and we've got Audra and Tucker. And thankfully, this past week, we had Jordan finally turned over to the cops, finally out of the way. That storyline shut down at long last. And now we look towards other storylines sliding onto the front burner to join the Ashley one. So in the first scenes of next week, we're going to have Mariah and Kyle sitting at a table. They're out to eat together. They, I enjoy their friendship and the vibe. It's very snarky. It's very funny. So Mariah is prodding Kyle, hitting him in a spot he may not have expected to be prodded. She asks him about his admiration for Claire and then wonders if there's more to it. Is there something else going on there? You know, is he catching some feelings? If you do not remember, Mariah Copeland has never been a fan of Summer Newman's. She used to call her princess, princess whiny pants, snowflake, all kinds of fun stuff. And Mariah, you know, she had a pretty rough start in Genoa City, if you recall. Victor Newman hired her to come to town to gaslight Sharon Newman. And that was before Mariah knew that that was her mother and she was actually her dead daughter, Cassie's twin. So, you know, not the best start to life there. So Mariah actually has a lot more in common with Claire Newman than she does with Summer Newman. She and Claire both got introduced to fans and to their families by doing very bad things to their families, tormenting them. But, you know, I think Mariah does need to hold Claire's beer because Claire wins this. She actively tried to kill most of her family while Mariah just was doing, you know, extreme psychological damage. So I wonder, I just wonder if Kyle is going to deny that he's intrigued by Claire or if he will admit that he's developing a little bit of a soft spot, a little liking for Harrison Abbott's new nanny. And I definitely, definitely look forward to seeing Claire meeting Mariah soon. I think these two are going to gonna want to go out for drinks and, and be friends. And I also look forward to seeing Kyle asking Claire out on a date and Harrison being thrilled and Summer being not so thrilled. All right. Also next week, we've got Audra, Charles and Tucker McCall having a very heated confrontation in Paris. Audra is ranting at him saying that what she's doing has nothing to do with vengeance. She said that's Tucker's game and his weakness. And he asks her, what do you want? And she says she wants glissade. She wants it all. So Audra remembers, you know, when they first came into town that he was looking for payback and looking to get it back with his ex-wife and revenge on, you know, other people. I, I don't think she's wrong about it being his weakness, but I think women in general are his weakness. And Audra's just had it with Tucker McCall, but she doesn't want to leave their relationship without a parting gift. And what she wants is his company, Glissade. Even though Tucker has offered her his heart, and his ring. She doesn't want to be his wife. She doesn't want to be with him. And she's blowing up over the fact that she felt like he was choosing Devon, choosing his family over her. What's worse to me, Tucker doesn't see the irony that Audra pointed out to him. Remember, Tucker was absolutely enraged that Ashley wouldn't abandon her family to be with him. That was a lot of what fueled their divorce. But Tucker doesn't think it's okay for Ashley to break up with him for the exact same reason. So... 
Mm. But at the same time, you know, all this, I cannot imagine Tucker is going to let Audra have glissade. Maybe a slice of it, maybe not now that she's been trying to stage a coup. He spent a pile of money getting sole ownership of it away from Ashley. And remember, she screwed around and inflated the price just to mess with him. And honestly, if Tucker gives the whole company to Audra, he might be left with absolutely nothing. And I feel that Audra is probably not going to back down on this. I think it's going to be a tooth and nail fight over Glissade. I think Audra believes that Tucker owes her that company. They have been together for years. She's been warming his sheets for years while he has pursued other women, pursued other interests. She's always been his right hand go-to girl and his bed warmer, you know, both when he wasn't with someone else and when he was with someone else. And I think she feels like she paid her dues and this is what she's owed. But I don't think Tucker is going to agree. I also don't think they're going to get back together. So this should be a very interesting battle. Finally, big stuff happening with Ashley Abbott, Tracy Abbott, and Dr. Alan Laurent in Paris. So Ashley has told Alan and Tracy what she can recall about that night after she argued with Tucker. That's the night that Alan Laurent thinks that her trauma occurred. And she asks him if she's creating a psychosis for herself. Is she delusional? And she wants to know what is happening to me Be after she tells him that. And he's like, mm, didn't happen happen like that. And Alan's like, no, 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 no. It did happen like you say, but it also happened like I say, because it didn't happen with me. And he tells her that he thinks that after she argued with Tucker and called him, she wound up spending the evening with his brother. That's what he says. And I just did a standalone video. You can see it on our main page. It's one of the most recent YNR ones, all the purple videos are YNRs, or you can check our YNR playlist. And I'll try to remember to put it at the end of this video too. But I did a standalone video saying Alan would have a twin or a doppelganger brother and bam, there it is confirmed next week. I will show you the photo again of Alan on the left and this mystery brother on the right. You can see the different outfits, but they look just alike otherwise. And this is a brother who might have done something really bad to Ashley Abbott. I do wonder if they originally intended it to be Alan and then decided to drag the story out longer because Christopher Cousins, who plays Alan, said he was initially hired just for 10 episodes shooting, you know, in April to air in May, late April and May. And that would not allow for this twin twist like we're seeing. And instead, they kept him around and have him filming at least through May, based on what he recently said. That allows for June action and a June reveal of the shrink's presumably sketchy sibling. So I just wonder if they're going to have Alan's brother obsessed. He wanted Ashley jealous. You know, did he assault her because she rejected him? I mean, it, who knows? Maybe he left bruises on her, but nobody saw them. Um, he could have raped her. I mean, tried to rape her. There's no telling. It, this whole thing is pretty awful. It, and it would have to be pretty awful to induce DID in somebody. So next week, be sure to watch. Ashley's story is going to hit its apex and we find out what really happened to her and why she's got DOD. And I suspect that whoever caused her trauma, probably the brother, is on high alert. I further suspect he might corner Ashley again and Tucker rides to the rescue. I just wonder if they're building up to a record reconciliation and them leaving town together. I mean, I hope that Trevor St. John isn't leaving. Ashley Abbott's not on contract. She comes back for stories, then she leaves again. So we'll just have to wait and see what they do with Tucker. But be sure to come back tomorrow for our full roster of YNR spoilers for the week of June 3rd through 7th to find out what's next for Ashley Audra Kyle and everybody else in Genoa City. Drop your comments on what you want to see next and please subscribe if you have not. We appreciate your support. And definitely come back every Every day, because we're talking Young and the Restless every single day of the week, seven days with me, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast, because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 